Right, and after that debate in Parliament, who is winning that war? The Maoists, Mr. Chidambaram, or those who are trying to bring him down and questioning the government policy within the Congress? Let's get straight into our debate. Let me start with Arun Jaitley, uh, who, who made that rather interesting speech in Parliament. One could be forgiven for believing that he actually uh, was you know, listening to that speech on the side of Mr. Chidambaram and not in the opposition. Arun Jaitley, how do you explain this irony? When you listen to the BJP these days, it sounds filled with admiration for the Home Minister, much more so than many members of his own party. I think this should be seen in the correct perspective. During the tenure of UPA1, UPA1 never realized what the problem was. They had a Home Minister who neither understood the problem nor had a possible solution for it. The BJP kept raising the issue repeatedly that the situation is slipping out. The present Home Minister initially made some comments which showed that he was trying to understand the problem. His party is uncomfortable. Now the BJP's position today is, we believe that Mr. Chidambaram should not behave like an injured martyr. He must not behave like a wounded soldier. He, he unfortunately is under gherao from his own party. Mamata Banerjee, his cabinet colleague, has made a statement uh, saying that there must be no composite uh, battle between the uh, coordination between the state and the center. Manishankar has said that the Digvijay line is correct and that uh, the militarized Maoist movement should not be treated as a law and order problem but should be contested by other methodologies. Anybody knows it, it's not possible. You have to have a combination of various actions. The BJP stance is unchanged. Therefore, while we regard the finance, the, the foreign home minister cannot run away from his responsibility. We believe he has to be firm, he has to be careful for those who are creeping below and trying to pull the government, to pull him down and pull this whole approach down, weaken the battle against uh, uh, Maoism. The BJP stand is what it remained throughout. Okay. That is, we stand shoulder to shoulder with the government if it's fighting Maoism. And if the government fails in its duty, we'll continue to exert pressure. All right. Now, you said in the beginning of, of your response that initially the Home Minister was making the right uh, noises, as it were. Do you sense a shift in his position today after his reply in Parliament? I am not uh, referring to any change, but I am more concerned about the environment in the Congress Party, the environment in the UPA. So when the Home Minister says that you need a strong mind, a strong heart, and a desire for a continued battle, you also need a united UPA, a united Congress and a united government. You have a splintered government, people pulling down the Home Minister's approach. How will the fight against Maoism go? And then you find a general in the middle of a battle saying, all right, I am willing to quit. I have lost this battle partly. He wants an air support. The government department says, I won't give you air support. Now, this is not the manner in which this battle can be fought. And merely because the Home Minister takes a particular stand. I don't believe that we must necessarily oppose him. Therefore, I have, we have highlighted the opposition, whether it's the CPM, whether it's the BJP, we've all shown statesmanship and the Congress is the one which is weakening the battle against Maoism. We would have to grant you that, Arun Jaitley. Actually, it has been a, a, a really mature debate in Parliament today and a mature response from the opposition. I'll come back to you. Let me come to Manish Tiwari. Manish, this is, this is hugely ironic. You've got the left, You've got the right supporting the Home Minister and you've got dissension within your own party from somebody as senior as Digvijay Singh, who, by the way, is in the United States of America and has not responded to what some would say was a rather gentle reprimand from the party. Burka, <coughs> allow me to commence by saying that the debate is as old as the problem. And the debate is whether development first or security first. Actually, that's not the and debate. I think that, Manish, that, Manish, may I interrupt I, you? I, just may I interrupt you just to say that's not the debate. The debate is that uh, your senior most general secretary in print takes on the home minister of this government. With uh, basically the Congress split is wide open, and if the Congress isn't united, what hope in hell do you have of taking on the Maoists? That's the debate. Well, I don't think, uh, Barkha, that's really the debate. Allow me to complete because I was trying to answer your question. Okay, go ahead. The debate is as old as the problem that whether development first or security first. And I think that debate has now synthesized and crystallized into a very, very clear and mature approach. And the approach is clear, hold and build. Yes, you know, there are certain people within the Congress, because after all, it's a microcosm of India, 
which you know do have a view which was development first or which is development first. Tubar.com.